Hello, today I'm going to show you how to uh, uh, estimate or create Sprint Team Capacity. So, Team Capacity for Sprint. And first of all, what is Sprint? Sprint is inter iteration in which some amount of work will be done. Okay, for this purpose, I will go to my ERP project and to see which sprints do I have, I will go to project settings and I will go to project configuration and I will see that I have four sprints already created and uh, each of them is going to be two weeks long. So let me go back here to ERP project and let me open boards and sprints, okay? You can see that I have here, when, once when it is loaded, I can he, here have a task board with nothing inside because I'm currently in Sprint 1 and no, no work is defined for Sprint or assigned to Sprint. I have a backlog, I have analytics, but for this, I will choose capacity, okay? and. I will choose capacity and you can see that I have for Sprint 1 already created users. How? Let me first of all remove user and save it. Okay. If I will, and I will remove every single user for, from uh, this Sprint just to show you how can you create users. So when you don't have users, Assign to a sprint, you can go here, add user, and find the user. John, okay, add user. Then Mary, okay, then Peter, then Ellen. I don't have Ellen, so let's say Paula. Okay, and I will add myself. Okay, add user. So, existing users. Now, if I go to, let's say, for Sprint to Sprint 2 here, when I am doing this for, uh, cap, uh, uh, planning capacity, I should be aware that, uh, that uh, in which Sprint am I. And it is shown here. If I go to Sprint 2, sorry, I should save this. If I go to Sprint, let's say 3, you will see that I have no user defines for, uh, for creating capacity. Okay, so be aware in which uh, Sprint you are. Let's say that I want to create, I will not going to do that, but just to show you, if I want to create a capacity for Sprint, Three, I can add, or, or, uh, add, add all team members or copy from last sprint. So basically, you are not going to do this all over again for each sprint. You can add all team members or you can copy your users for last sprint. And then you will have automatically users from last sprint like here. Okay, but I am not going to do that. Okay, I'm not going to save it. So let me go to Sprint 1 again. Now, I, I'm not going to save it. I have John, Mary, Peter, uh, uh, Paula. First of all, I can define Team Day Off. What is Team Day Off? Team Day Off is day or day are days in which whole team is not available. So. Let's say this is from June 5th to June, June 16th. For my team, I will have at, okay, Thursday, June 8th, day off. So at that day, no one will work. Okay, this is Thursday. I can add additional day work, a uh, uh, day off, or if I uh, uh, don't work from uh, if my team uh, will not work on from eight to nine. I can 
uh, put here from eight to nine. So uh, ninth, but I'm not going to do that. Okay. So from eight uh, at eight of uh, June, no one will work. I can see here put let's say from fifth that fifth of June is also going to be non-working day, but I will not be going to do that. So how can I get rid of this? If I hover my mouse here, I can click here and now I have my day off. So for this sprint, the day off for the whole team, each and every team member will be 8th of June. And I will click on OK. But I'm not going to work of 9th of June. So for that, I'm going to choose myself. I'm going to click here and I will say, OK, from 9th of June, uh, uh, on 9th of June, I'm not going to work. So if someone is taking vacation or uh, a few days or something like that, so for each particular resource, you can put days on. Now you can see that I can put capacity for days per day, which which means how many hours in days when the resource is available is this resource let's say able to work so i will say john is going to work seven hours mary is going to work seven hours nenat is going to work four hours paula is going to work eight hours and peter is going to work eight hours what does it mean? What is here activity? For activity, I can, I will go put save, I can add uh, which for which activity, on which activity is this user uh, uh, going to work. So let me explain a little bit about this. So let me switch to a task. I am now on task which is design log a login screen. I can choose activity here. So in activity, I can choose between deployment, design, development, documentation, requirements, and testing. And if I choose here, for example, design, which is all uh, obviously this uh, kind of work, design, and if I want to assign this task to, for example, John, and know on which tasks is John going to work, which are about design, then let me switch back. I will choose here design. So if I choose for John design, and if I save it, it means that John will be able to work seven hours per day on design tasks. I'm not going to use that. Why? Because let's say that John, now let me say unassigned, that John is developer and tester. If I want to have him as a developer and test, tester, if I choose here development and save, I will say John is available seven hours for development. And if I want him to be available in this sprint, particular sprint, one hours, one hour for testing, obviously I should add him as a tester, but I cannot do it. So basically, once when you put your resource into your sprint, the key can be, let's say, assigned to only one activity. So for that, that purpose, I don't find it very useful for my projects. Maybe in projects where the people are, uh, resources are strictly structured, like John and Mary are developers, Nena and Paul are testers, and Peter are designers, and John and Mary is going to doing just development. Nena is going to do just the, uh, 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 and then Paula are going to do, uh, do just testing 
and Peter designing, then it makes a sense. So now I know that Tim is going to be on one day, that John, Mary, uh, uh, and uh, John, Mary, Paul, and Peter are going to work uh, uh, all days, except this one day when the whole team is off, and the Nena is going to be uh, 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 be off of, in, uh, of this sprint one day. Uh, th this is, let's say, my personal day, and of course the second day, which is uh, applies to whole team, and I know capacity per day for each and every person. Now we are ready to assign items to a sprint and to assign those users, team members, to a sprint as well, to see how much work can be done in sprint. And that is exact uh, uh, the topic of my next video. Until then, have a nice day.